Word of mouth is powerful in St. Louis. Many businesses thrive on a good reputation, and that same principle may apply when it comes to getting the word out about the COVID-19 vaccine. Communities of color have valid fears of the healthcare community. So the big question right now, how do healthcare experts get accurate information out to these groups? Joining me today is Rebecca Bennett. She is with Prepare SDL, which is an outreach organization started last March when the pandemic hit. So Rebecca, let's start with this one at square one. How did your organization form and how have you been able to reach out to minorities during this pandemic? Uh, so we started in the beginning of, or maybe the middle of March, and we are a joint effort of the City of St. Louis Department of Health, the St. Louis County Department of Public Health, and a number of community health organizations, including the Regional Health Commission, the Integrated Health Network, the Coalition of um, uh, Community Health Workers, the Mental Health Board. So all of those organizations brought their networks and their people together to figure out how we could strategically engage uh, specifically African Americans and also foreign-born communities of color in the St. Louis area. So we hit the street uh, with street canvassers posting up information at hot spots that would be grocery stores and pharmacies and laundromats and places where people lived as long as they were protected with PPE so we could get the information out via flyers and things. And we also um, had a mobile unit to get the word out where we went to housing complexes and senior housing and public housing. Uh, and we used uh, conventional channels like TV, print, radio, uh, social media, all the ways uh, that we could to help keep uh, our community members safe and alive. So we know there's a lot of distrust in minority communities. So how exactly do you convince people to get the vaccine, especially when this mistrust has gone on for so long? Well, I think our focus has been we don't convince people to get the vaccine. What we do is we give them good and accurate information, and then we say we trust you to make the decisions that are best for you. In this instance, we are using relationships. Um, one of the best ways to get information out is by having people uh, talk with one another, people that they trust. And so we are seeking to launch a campaign that has uh, what we call community health champions. These are largely volunteers, so they do get a stipend from us to hold conversations with other people in their network. But we support them in those conversations. We have vaccine education experts who can answer all manner of questions about the vaccine. Uh, and, and we have community health workers who can answer questions about their larger uh, health needs and community uh, needs for community resources and support. And if we give people good information, we trust uh, that they will make the decisions that are right for them and their families, given their particular circumstances. And very quickly, you guys are also looking for, what, 300 people for these community health champions, right? Exactly what will that entail and who are you looking for? That's right. So we are looking for 300 people. We'd like to get them on board this month. Uh, and we're looking for uh, anyone is welcome, but specifically we would like people who live in our North City, uh, North St. Louis City or North St. Louis County area, people who have um, pre-existing health conditions that make them vulnerable to COVID, um, people who are active in their faith communities or in grassroots or community efforts, um, people who are foreign born, but who also speak English, people who are in early childhood education and essential workers, right? These are all people that we want to connect uh, with uh, to have them be champions. We ask that they have two conversations with up to 10 people uh, using Zoom in their, in their communities, and we'll host those conversations, right? We'll train them on uh, what kinds of questions to answer, what kind of information to share, uh, and then we'll provide them with experts who understand not only the vaccine, but understand COVID and what it takes to live well in the era of COVID. All right, Rebecca, thank you so much. And for more information about becoming a community health champion, you can check out fox2now.com and also the Fox2 mobile app as well. We appreciate your time today.